my friends and welcome to my channel. Today I want to teach you how to take well-loved brushes <laughs> and go from things that are frayed and misshapen and stained and go from this to this. Ooh, ah, look at all of those nicely shaped bristles. My goodness, was it magic? No, it's called blocking your brushes. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it today. First thing, when you have a brush that needs a little attention and it has some frayed bristles sticking out on the sides, you get your brush, you get some water, and you get it nice and wet. Ta-da! A wet paintbrush! How exciting! Then, you grab some soap. I use this soap called the Master's Hand Soap. It is specifically for use on grease, paint, stains, inks, and dyes, and it's very gentle, so it's great for using it on paint brushes. I will have this linked in the description below in case you want to use this particular soap. But if you can't get your hands on that, you can use your basic ivory soap. You just have to make sure it's a type of soap that doesn't have any fragrances or dyes. I just use Dove for myself, so I also use it on my paintbrushes when I can't find the master's soap. Once you have your wet paintbrush, you grab your soap of choice, and you get it wet, and I, I like this this imprint here, so I'm, I'm not gonna use that part. So you start painting the soap with your wet paintbrush, getting a nice thick lather going, and coating up all of the bristles with soap. This also helps to actually thoroughly clean your brushes, which is nice. <laughs> I'll buy those like dollar packs of terrible brushes at Walmart and I'll do this to them so that the bristles are better shaped and then my cheap brushes are actually pretty decent. So I use them a lot because of that. So once you have your paintbrush all soaked up, you use your fingers to reform the bristles. So now I don't have any stray bristles wandering around all over the place and I can generally reshape the tip of my paintbrush. The next thing is just to let it dry, and then the next time you're about to use a paintbrush that you blocked, make sure you rinse this out thoroughly before you get going. If you're using your brushes every day, I wouldn't recommend the, the doing this all the time, but if you're done with a set of projects and it's gonna be a couple days or a week or so before you get back into it, I'd recommend blocking your brushes so you can keep them looking nicer longer. At least the bristles, I mean. Obviously, <laughs> my collection of paint brushes have paint all over their handles, but at least the bristles can be nice. Aww, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it, yes please, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. I am intending to do some more art hacky type videos as we go forward, because sometimes you just need something quick and useful. So that is what this video is today. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you next week. Bye!